first salary and that was 400 naira. My name is Mutio Adepoju, ex Super Eagles player. The hallmark of an average footballer, be it Nigerian or anywhere in the world, is to win medals. I mean, one of these. And this is one of the reasons that brought us to the house of one of Nigeria's greats, Mutio Adepoju, popularly known as the Headmaster. On Legit TV, we bring you an exclusive interview with the former Real Madrid player who played the game to the highest, who won Nations Cup with Nigeria, and who scored one of Nigeria's finest goals at the World Cup. Join us. My name is Mutiu Adepoju. Uh, people call me the headmaster. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm La Liga ambassador in Nigeria. Um, I've played uh, for Nigeria in many occasions. I mean, precisely 56 uh, uh, caps. Fired for Nigeria, and I played in three World Cups and uh, three Nation uh, Afcons. So uh, the World Cups are in uh, 1994 uh, in USA, which was I mean, the first ever World Cup I mean, Nigeria has ever I mean, would I mean, I mean, play. And uh, the second World Cup was 1998, France 98, and uh, the third one Korea Japan 2002. Uh, the Nations Cup I mean, was in uh, 1992, Senegal 92, in which I mean, we came uh, third, won a bronze medal. And uh, 1994, which we won the gold medal, we won the AFCON in 94. And uh, we didn't participate in 1996 and 1998 because of I mean, well, political I mean, repression uh, in 2000 year 2000, Ghana, Nigeria, and I mean, we came uh, second one uh, silver medals. Nobody knew where he was going to get to at the end of the day, but I always knew that I mean, I wanted to be a professional footballer right from when I was in the primary, secondary school. I represented my, I played for my primary school. You know, in those days, I mean, I mean, school games are very, very uh, important and I mean, very uh, interesting and uh, uh, I mean, puts a lot of I mean, emphasis on the, our school games. I mean, in uh, first salary. Let me say, when I was in Crane, I mean, they used to give us allowance. I won't call it a salary, but I can't remember how much it was. I mean, very, very big. <laughs> well, then it was a, a big money, you know. Then, I mean, the one I remember was I was in, when I was in Famous Scorpion. I still remember that till today. Uh, that was 400 naira. Was my first, I mean, salary I got from Famous Scorpion. That's the first year I played for them, and the second year was 450 naira. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it wasn't me. Uh, I knew it was I me mean, because of uh, my ability to score goals with the head, and uh, right from when I was in the under 20, the junior team, and I mean, in club football and all. So uh, I think it was a Mumini Allah from a complete sport that I mean gave me that uh, nickname, yeah, and uh, it's I mean just a mistake uh, uh, since I mean that time. So that's the, uh, the origin of uh, uh, the, the nickname. Well, I mean. You see, me, my philosophy is just I mean, to move on with uh, life, whatever happens. Uh, you know, I always know that I mean, things can never be I mean, the same as uh, planned and I mean, there might be. So I move on the way things are. Regrets, I mean, I would rather say I am fulfilled with I mean, everything that I mean, have achieved. Uh, yes, I could have achieved I mean, more or, or better. 
but um, regret. I don't want to have that uh, regret. Uh, one thing that one will say that uh, okay, maybe because I played in Real Madrid and uh, I would have I mean, featured more in the first team and all that. I mean, whether it's a regret and all that, but I don't want to call it a regret. I mean, it's what I believe uh, was uh, not meant to to happen, and I mean, I take it that way. And, I mean, I moved on with uh, life. Uh, we all know that, I mean, yeah, at one uh, point, uh, football is not like, I mean, every other thing, profession that a uh, doctor or lawyer or whatever that you have. I mean, yes, football is, I mean, and we always know that, that, I mean, once you are getting to 30, 35, uh, 40, like, I mean, the highest, I mean, you must stop, I mean, football. If you don't want to stop, I mean, the, 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 uh, a uh, situation uh, will will stop you, will force you to, to, to stop. So we all know know that, and I mean, uh, we always and uh, I mean try and prepare for the I mean, for the moment, and uh, that was the reason why I tried as much as possible while, while I was playing. I, I pursued my coaching uh, badges and then the football administration and all that, so that I mean I can. Have been something doing after after football. So, as for me, I have uh, the highest coaching badge uh, that uh, UEFA Pro, and uh, I have any um, football administration uh, I mean, courses that I did, I mean, which I have I mean, all my certificates and everything, which I can do use. So, um, yeah, some are not lucky, and that is when I mean maybe people say that I mean it's either you coach or you are poor. There are so many players and uh, there are a few clubs, I mean so many players that turned to coaches after a football career but there are very few clubs so it cannot accommodate I mean, everybody and all that so you must have I mean, a way of uh, diversifying and I mean, Well, I got to Spain first, and I really love everything I, mean, I met there. I really learned a lot too about uh, football in, in Spain. So I made it a, a home for me. I mean, country. Uh, if you say I still have, a, I mean, the Spanish I mean, nationality with my Nigerian nationality and all that. So. And my family, they still, I mean, live in Spain. My family are in Spain, so um, my children, uh, we live in Spain. They were born in Spain. I mean, two of them, and I mean, two outside in US, one in US, but always living in Spain. And uh, I, I love them um, in Spain because I mean, they took us as, uh, as I mean, citizen. My teammate that we are very close now is I mean, in Kesho. He lives here in Spira in Ibadan and uh, we see almost every day. And uh, close to Ikweba too, uh, close to uh, uh, Finidi when I mean, it's around. And uh, every other day, I, I mean, I always speak with them in Garuba. Uh, so we, we, we get in touch, we, we communicate. Very, very well. I mean, all my teammates. Because I didn't have uh, any problem with any of my teammates. Well, uh, high moments has always been when uh, you win laurels, you win uh, matches. I mean, you win uh, championship. For example, in uh, 1994, when we qualified I mean, for the first time for the World Cup, uh, drawing in uh, Algiers against Algeria, and then we qualified for the first time in history, and uh, going to Nations Cup to win it after uh, like uh, 18, 14 years, because the last one, 1980 to 1994, after 14 years. 
and uh, eventually going to the World Cup with, uh, uh, I mean, in, in, in USA. Now, getting to the World Cup, the low moments are the moment that you we lost, we were about to qualify against Italy, you know, and uh, eventually something happened and then we lost that game where we were leading 1-0 and all that. I mean, all those I mean, periods are I mean, very, very low, very low. And, uh, even in 98, when you were, so, I mean, we were supposed to, when we, we were supposed to beat Denmark in the second round and then we lost in the 4-1, you know. So those moments are very, very, I mean, sad moments.